Wednesday, May 23rd. He had big political dreams, ran for office, and lived a luxurious lifestyle. But federal officials say Jason Pasqua was a con artist, stealing more than $1.5 million from dozens of Hawaii families. In federal court today, he admitted to the crime. Kirk Matthews was there and caught up with one of the many victims who lost his savings. Kirk? Jason Pasquale would not talk with reporters as he left federal court today. The 39-year-old pleaded guilty to creating a Ponzi scheme, taking $1.5 million from investors and giving that money to new investors who were promised up to 50% profit on their investment in a concert and promotion scheme. One of the 31 victims, Michael Liu, had this analogy after Pasquale's court appearance. The aggregate sum of it was probably pretty, pretty bad. I mean, everybody, the whole media covered, you know, those Stevie Wonder blunder and all that stuff. That's like, that's chump change compared to this. I mean, that's, that's nothing. We have to admit that there's no money left. All the money appears to have been spent, so it's going to be a long road before any of them receive any financial recoveries. Pasqua is free on bail. His sentencing is scheduled for September 11th. He could face up to 20 years in prison. Sadly, this is hardly an isolated crime. Here in Hawaii, we have seen several of these types of schemes over the years. In fact, we've been told there's another indictment coming down later tonight involving a much higher price tag. Stay tuned to KHON2 for all the details as that story develops. Kirk Matthews, KHON2 News.